Hey there, this is Joffrey and I'm making this video to let you know what kind of system we have which kind of helps you out to do all your tasks automa automatically and how these apps talk with each other so you can get the best out of Podio. So uh, we usually have few workspaces and apps which kind of communicate with each other. That's make a lot of our things, uh, you know, automated and possible and very easy to, you know, do. So first of all, let's talk about this uh, first workspace, which is marketing Craigslist Zillow postcards app because we have connected our Craigslist, our Vumber, or call rail with it, and then Zillow. So let just let me just walk you through with this uh, feasible thing and how this 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 thing works. So. What happening is right now is that this app is connected to Fisbo, Craigslist. So whenever someone posts any ad in New York area, which matches our criteria, this Podio fetches that lead and put it in our Podio leads. Now what we do, we open any of these leads which we want to, and we see that there is a title, date, description, and a link. And we can visit this link and we can get the information like email name and phone number why we do that because this app it sent out emails text messages follow up emails and it follow up with these leads automatically and then you can also send customized email for example uh sorry not customized e uh, you can do the customized email as well as customized text messages using this add a comment section so let's just go ahead and see what we can do with this thing so see we have an ad open in front of us. We go, we see, yep, I'm not remote. Now it's gonna give me all the information we need. Like this person name is Mr. Wright. So I'm gonna go there and put this person name in the name field. I'm gonna go and copy the address, email address, and then see if we have any property address. Yes, we do. We're going to copy the address as well. And let's see if we have any kind of a number, which we don't. So now what happened in this case is that we will simply go ahead and we're going to see that what is our next action so right now there is no action taken yet and the status is new so what we're going to do is that we're going to hit this button first first email and text and this person will receive a email on his this email address if he had a phone number it would have sent him a uh a, like automated text message saying like hey mr wright this is joffrey please i saw your property online please call me back on this number so just to walk you through with it we have a lead uh which we're going to use as a live demo so let me just walk you through with it so uh now we're going i'm going to walk you through with a live demo how this thing works so right now we have this lead in front of us we have the person name property address phone number and an email address right there that's my email address and my phone number which we're gonna use for live demo so let's just go ahead and hit this button first attempt email sent and what I'm gonna have to do is that it's gonna send me an email on my my gmail address and then gonna send me a uh, phone uh, like a text message on my Google voice number so let's just see if we have gotten anything yet or not here we go so it's saying like, hey, yes, man, it automatically populated those fields. I saw your house on Craigslist. I'm very interested in buying. Please, in rent to own. If yes, please respond. Yes, I am interested. So now I'm responding to it. As soon as I respond to it, I'll be able to see the response here in a few seconds and see if we got any email. Yes, we did. So now you see we got an email which says hi yes man i saw your house you know with a little you can always change this template it just simply depends whether you want to use this or not so now let's see if we got any response you see that we just did and the status would be automatically updated responded via email and text and it would assign you a test like this person has responded please follow up with this person now best thing with this thing is that 
that let's just say this guy hasn't responded and the status is remain the status is remain email series begin waiting on reply now what would happen is that the podio it will it will look for the status if the status is say, is email series begun waiting on reply what it would do every day at 8 30 a.m podio will change the next action forward like from from this to this and then to this like it will just simply stop here so now tomorrow if this person doesn't respond tomorrow at 8 30 this thing will be updated to this one now if i hit this button i will get another email another text message like a follow-up email a follow-up text message like like i just got here following up regarding your property and i'm gonna get in text message as well hey it's stan this laura again so it's gonna keep doing it until this person respond or we have gone through all four steps now let's just say that this person has responded as we already had it and i want to communicate with this guy inside my podio so i say hey what is your property address now that is something which we are doing inside podio for customized communication now this will not go as a text message because this is a comment now in order to send this thing in a form of text message you have to write sms dot and this thing will trigger this will tell podio that whatever i write after it send it as a email sorry as a text message so let's just put it hey what is your property address now see if we get any kind of a message right here we got it now let's just say one two three main street now uh, as i just i just wrote it again and now you will see that this will be coming down here at any moment here we go now i just can, can copy it and i can put it into my address and now have all the information i know that this guy is interested now what i can do is that i want to separate this lead from all the other craigslist leads so what i can do is that i can hit this button reply received push to leads app now this lead will be shifted into our other workspace which is actually motivated sellers now what it will do it will create a ad in our motivated sellers workspace and in this workspace we have an app called leads now it would create a lead in here in our leads app now as soon as a lead get created in leads app what it does it assign a task automatically to virtual assistant like the new lead has been created please follow up with this person now it will have all the information which we had in our uh facebook crack list like it will have the owner's name property address uh the phone number the email address and the notes you see that here is the property address and then you'll be able to see the notes down somewhere now as you know that we have few status and some stage of the leads so now the stage of lead is new and next action is we have to give this person first attempt because it would be very it would be our very first contact our visual assistant very first contact to pull out more information for this seller now he will go ahead and call this person and most of the time what happens whenever we call this call actually goes to a voicemail let's just say it goes to a voicemail now what you will do now the stage of the lead would become from new prospect to no answer left a voicemail and we already have called this person now our next action would be to give this person a second attempt now i'm going to hit this second attempt button. now as soon as i hit this button what i'm going to do it's going to assign me a task like whatever the time is right now add six hour in it and assign me a task now after six hours podio will tell me like this is a person you have to call and i will come down to this specific lead and i will see okay so i have to give this person a second attempt because that's what next action says and the stage of the lead is no answer left a voicemail now i can go ahead and call this person again let's just say on my second try it goes to a voicemail again now the stage of the leads remains the same no answer left a voicemail but next action become third attempt call seller 
Now still it's gonna assign me a task. So I don't miss this lead anymore anymore. Now let's just say I got a hold of that person. Now what? So I can uh, let's just say I've got a hold of this person and, and I have all the information and I want to do some research on it. Now as soon as I hit this button, it's gonna assign a task to my team member, like please run com for this property and then he will simply go down here he has a specific uh, uh area which he has to cover like he has to get what is a monthly rent how many kind of, what kind of repairs and then you know and then he has to run some comparables and Pody will get the average automatically now as soon as he put the comparables down there and as soon as he filled this information what this Pody is going to do it going to allow us it will automatically create three highest four highest offers like what is offer on 80 percent 75 percent 70 and 65 percent now it will just it will just simply do it now once he has done all the due diligence now he will come down here he will hit this button comms done lewis reviews lewis is the guy who's gonna put an offer so as soon as he hit this button comms done lewis to review lewis would get an email from podio like hey please look into this and create an offer so lewis will come down here he will look at all the numbers he has run and if he think like that thing making sense he can go down there like it will assign a task to uh, lewis as you can see and now lewis will go ahead and prepare an offer and if he think this thing is good for an offer he will come down here and it will hit this button create offer push to offers app and this lead will along with some of the information which you're going to use in contract will be sent out into our offers app we have an offer app in motivated seller workspace now in motivated seller and in offers app we see that this is our guy which we just shifted because it was created like a minute ago as Pody going to tell you like a few seconds ago we have the name we have the property address and now we just have to fill these fields so now these fields are basically the mail merge field which you have on your contract so whatever I fill on here like Keith Roseman or any buyer address it will goes and and I, and I fill these things it will goes into our contract how now before you have to generate a contract like one let's just say you have put all your information down there and now you want to generate a contract just hit this button now now as soon as you hit this button it will simply add a PDF file just refresh the page and you'll be able to see that in front of you here is the PDF file now you can send this PDF file in a form of email like if you hit this button it's gonna send this a PDF to this person email address and if you hit this button uh, it will send it in the in the form of mail and it and we will use click to mail API like integration to send it in the form of mail now let's just say this guy has accepted our offer then we can push it into our whiteboard app now, as soon as I hit it and shift it to the whiteboard you will see in our leads app that this lead will be automatically up updated that this property which we send out to offers app has a stage of lead which is under contract you see that the lead all, all, all you know you know automatically updated a few seconds ago that it's under contract now right now our offer is in all, all whiteboard and uh, that's kind of see like what kind of leads we have in here and we can track our leads here and then we have a deal showing up what it does let's just say you have a property and then you have a uh, buyers and we have our buyers in purchasing partners right here that has cash buyers now what we do we we add a deal here like this is my property address like this is the property and uh, these are the buyers I'm showing it to if we have any you know the status would be shown and we put some summary here whatever the summary is and as soon as we hit this button what it going to do it going to send out this property this uh, uh, property the summary and whatever the attachment is to all the buyers we have in our cash buyer list in purchasing partners 
So with a single click, you are not just generating contracts, but also marketing, sending follow-ups, everything. Hope this makes sense. And uh, thank you very much for watching.